Yo guys, what is going on? I'm suddenly coming back at you today with another Division 2 video, and I'm making this on July 2nd, right at about 9 a.m. I actually have a uh, a, a movie time for Spider-Man Far From Home at 9.30, so I'm trying to get this done as fast as I can. But uh, more importantly, I wanted to go ahead and talk to you guys a little bit about how this new PTS for Title, uh, title Update 5 is both a step in the right direction, but it's also taking two steps back for those who are wanting to jump in to the raid. I mean, everybody was wanting and asking for matchmaking to be added to the raid. Yes, they've added it starting July 3rd, aka tomorrow. We're going to be able to go ahead and start jumping into discovery mode, which is a difficulty for Washington National Airport raid. It's a uh, it's um, it's going to be offering story mode, basically. So if your build isn't completely up to par to go ahead and try and take on the raid at its default setting, you can go ahead and dumb it down a little bit, get into matchmaking so that the entire situation of playing with randoms isn't a complete shit show, which I understand. I mean, I, I totally get it, but this is the biggest problem. One of the main reasons everyone wants to go into the raid is one, to go ahead and farm some of the new gear sets, although they aren't the greatest, in my opinion, and a lot of people feel the same way. There could be some changes that could be made. Um, it's the only way to get these particular gear sets, not to mention the AR exotic, the Eagle Bearer, which is that uh, P416 variant exotic. And again, it's very, very a high sought after item, and it's perhaps the one assault rifle everybody wants. And I don't even I don't even know how to say this without like just cringing a little bit. I'm just going to read this verbatim as it is over in the uh, the scheduled patch notes for title updates five PTS. Are you ready? Just just listen to this for a minute. July 3rd discovery mode difficulty for the Washington National Airport raid matchmaking will be available for this difficulty. Gear sets, as well as the Eagle Bearer exotic, are not included in the loot pool for discovery mode. What? Um, I'm a little confused. I mean, does this fully mean that if you go into matchmaking and you're doing it on this lower setting, that you're not going to be able to get the Eagle Bearer at all, which is the whole purpose of going into the raid to begin with? Why even do it? I mean, I understand if you're maybe going for commendations or if you're trying to be a completionist or something like that, but... To be a completionist, don't you want to go ahead and get that AR exotic? Don't you want to get those gear sets? It's the reward for going through the most challenging content in the game. Yes, turning it to a story mode difficulty no longer makes it the most challenging content, and that's fine. I understand the argument there. But the idea of creating matchmaking, giving it to people, and then dumbing it down... So that it's not a complete, you know, Benny Hill song going off in your head while everyone's running around with their head cut off. Just so that you can't get the gear and the weapon that you're going for. This needs to change. And if I'm misunderstanding it, please, someone in the comments, you know, correct me. Tell me I'm wrong. But I'm almost 99% certain what I'm saying is correct. And I, I'm blown away by this. I mean, it completely defeats the purpose of going into matchmake for this raid. Because you're going to get nothing out of it. What are you going to get? 500 gear? That's it? You won't get any of the gear sets? You won't get any of the blueprint uh, materials? You won't get the Eagle Bearer? The whole reason. I mean, I'm not one to sit here and try and rant or be really pissed off. I, I'm not pissed off per se. But what I am is I'm a little disappointed in that when the community goes into an outcry to get a feature made, it's made, but its implementation is just shit. It completely defeats the purpose in it. Sign off in the comments down below, guys. What do you think? Am I right? Am I wrong? Do you agree with me? Do you think this is completely stupid? Um, what is your experience in the PTS? Are you enjoying all the new skill stuff? Or do you like the new missions? I would love to hear your feedback on everything. Not to mention, so would Massive and all the devs before Title Update 5 becomes a complete, just solid, done deal, and we get the full thing in the real game. But, yeah. Um... I guess the last thing I'm going to go ahead and remind you guys one more time is um, Twitch, right? I am indeed streaming 100% over on Twitch now. Anything and everything it's made over here is going to be in video form, video on demand. Um, it may be in premiere format every once in a while, but 
don't plan on that happening all that often. It's definitely going to be Let's Plays here. It's going to be cut up highlights from my Twitch streams, and it's going to be videos like this featuring commentaries for The Division, Destiny, Vendor Resets, and so on. So with that being said, guys, drop a like if you haven't. Be sure to go ahead and hit that notification bell whenever something happens here, and follow me over on Twitch. That link is in the description down below. I'm Insanity, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.